It's Monday, the 29th day of Elul, 5768. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. Hey everyone, it's bailout day, the day when our Congress votes on a $700 billion Wall Street bailout package. If it doesn't pass, we might have another Great Depression. But the package is facing resistance from both the right and the left, and no one's really sure if the votes are there to pass it. So, America, time to bust out that hobo costume from a few Halloweens ago, because now you may need it for real. But now some say the deal won't be that bad in the long term, because the government will sell off the mortgage-related assets that it buys and recoup its money later. In fact, Republican Senator Judd Gregg has said, my gut tells me we are going to make money on this. So this whole financial catastrophe actually could be a cash cow. Hi, I'm a badly dressed government employee, and I'm here to talk to you about a rock solid investment opportunity for these troubled times. Your government, the same visionaries that brought you the Iraq war, are pleased to introduce a new program called Give Us Your Money. Here's how it works. First, you pay us just two easy installments of $350 billion. Second, we take that money and invest it in assets so toxic, no sane investment bank will touch them. Third, we'll all get rich. My gut told me so. So please, call now to give your money to the government today. On second thought, don't bother. We'll just go ahead and borrow the money, and if we lose it, you can pay us back later. So go with government investments, because we go with our gut. Finally, this weekend wasn't all serious negotiations and last-ditch efforts to save the American way of life. Saturday viewers of Fox News were treated to the premiere of Mike Huckabee's new talk show, Huckabee. Now you're probably wondering, what does a Fox News talk show hosted by a former Republican presidential candidate actually look like? Well, the jokes were bad. Now given the problems that the next president will face, it may be that after the election we'll have the first time in history when it's the winner who wants the recount. <laughs> the band was bad. And the audience was appropriately dressed for a corporate board meeting. So yeah, pretty much exactly what you'd expect. For me, of course, this is especially disturbing because according to a rigorous scientific competition, I am even less funny than Mike Huckabee. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotegi for more videos. And don't worry, I'll be gone tomorrow, but I will be back on Wednesday because I realize that our economy depends on my advertising revenues. Right here on Kotegi TV.